I mean, honestly, look at this. Buckets of them. What's that? That's just out of two freezers. And look, there's more freezers down there. Oh my god. That was god. just a block of water with noodles in it. Why would they do that? Do they just put that in a pot? Why does it why is it a block of water? I don't even understand the strategy. <laughs> I'm a little confused. <laughs> so today we are watching the South Pizzeria episode of Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, I've been meaning to watch this episode for the longest time. So I can't believe we're finally here. We're finally going to watch it. It's very, very recommended from chat and from the community. So I can't wait to see what it's all about. But before we get into it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get an update every single time we upload a new video. In Brooklyn, New York, lies the historic neighborhood of Cobble Hill, a hip, thriving area and home to Sal's Pizzeria, run by John Esposito. My parents came here from Italy, and they took over this pizzeria in 1970. And at the age of 14, uh, I left high school to help my mom and dad run okay. the business. Is it good now, guys? <laughs> Is the volume okay? Is it still too loud? Is it better? <laughs> right? Thanks for being here, Moshi. It's a lot louder than your voice. Okay. Uh, uh, hi, Nathan. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. In Brooklyn, New York, lies the historic neighborhood of Cobble Hill, a hip, thriving area and home to Sal's Pizzeria. Is that better? Run by John Esposito. My parents came here from Italy and they took over this pizzeria in 1970. Thanks, and at the Thank age you. of 14, uh, I left high school to help my mom and dad run the business. This has become my life Sorry, new setup. Hello, Sal, <laughs> how can I help you? We ran the place very successfully. Thank you. By the 90s, we were able to purchase <laughs> the restaurant good. next door. Oh, oh so they purchased the restaurant Welcome next door. Thank you. My so mom they were making sick. bank. She got diagnosed with cancer. And we thought the right thing to do was to name the room after my mom. That's why you have Sal's Pizza and Mama Maria's. His father passed away, his mom passed away. He was the only one in charge of everything. And as the years passed, it started to go down. We don't have that kind of volume of sales that we once had. Then I can't figure out the reason why it dropped off. Where's the people? I've stayed the same, I haven't changed. They weren't a fan of the Eggman. I don't know. I don't understand why people aren't coming. I've stayed the same, I haven't changed. You gotta innovate. Oh, peace. Hi! Peace. Can everybody taste peace but out of love? And what they're doing over there. John, as the owner, is <laughs> supposed to be in charge of this whole place, including the kitchen. But he's usually up front making pizzas covered in, in flour. It's a nightmare, right? Pizza. It is a fucking nightmare. The pizzeria and a restaurant are two different animals. That's like the accountant that thought it'd be cool to open a wine bar. Stop paying attention over here for a minute. Get in the kitchen. Really look at what's going on. John treats this place like his second home. He's got four kids that are always here, running around the restaurant. Oh, no. I don't know, Bananas. I've never seen it. It doesn't really look good for the restaurant. John really, is Casper? an extremely stubborn owner. All right, so this is the way we're going to set up the table. Listen, Paul Maria Rosa, tell him to get down here. It's my restaurant. In his mind, the system has worked, but it really stopped working like 20 years ago. Cobble Hill used to be a very old school Italian neighborhood, but now we have much, much younger people moving in. Uh, uh -oh. A lot of people like to call them hipsters. Hey, sorry, uh, spaghetti doesn't taste quite right. I don't know what to tell you. It's a fresh tomato sauce. Throw this up. Am I gonna put on plastic glasses, get a funky haircut, put an earring in my ear just to accommodate the new people? I'm not gonna do that. Am I gonna put on plastic glasses? <laughs> Megatron, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you. Oh God, the soy. Angry hipsters, yeah. Oh, this is on this side. Uh, bad. Uh, really? Yeah. John is holding on to the past and to the way things were done when his parents ran the business. We didn't do anything tonight. We didn't even do a quarter of what we used to do. Any businessman would have said, enough is enough. Pull the plug. Right? What's wrong with plastic glasses? How do you pull the plug on family history? Pretty tough. Yeah. We got to do something to boost these checks. This place, it's mom and dad. Losing one is like losing a parent again. They're not prepared to handle that. <laughs> Megatron Prime, yeah. Mama Maria's. What is that? That is ghastly. 
holes everywhere. That is not a good sign. Oh my god, look at this sign! My goodness me. You're Hello. so sweet, Serenity. How you? Good, how are you? First name uh oh, is bananas. Fabian. Yeah, good to see you. I'm no. the manager here. That outside looks like an eyesore. Whose idea was that? The owner, he actually cut the letters out. Why? I guess because it was tearing and he just completed the whole thing. Oh my god. And the owner is? John. And he is? Where? <laughs> Donnie. Next door. He's just not a good sign. Like pizzeria. So, two restaurants. Right. Mama Maria's, I'm standing in. Right, and then there's Charles Pizzeria next door. Um, right, I'm gonna go meet the owner. Okay. Uh, thank you. No problem. Wow. This is crazy. So, Sal's Pizzeria. To be honest, it doesn't look like some place I feel like I would trust to eat at. Like, I would probably never stop in there, just based on, on the signage alone. John, there he's there. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Excellent. So, are you filling in today? Someone phoning sick? I Peter pretty much make, make the pizzas. Yeah, I always work the front of the counter. The oh, so you're behind there constantly? Yeah. Wow, how long have you been making pizzas? Since I'm um, 10 years old. That's incredible. I got confused with a hideous canopy outside. Was that you who cut holes in the canopy? Uh, actually, the wind did that. The, the wind. wind did that. <laughs> yeah. The wind. Anyway, come around. Let's have a, a catch up. Okay, first of all, give me a little insight, the history. My mom and dad had a pizzeria. Yeah, the and wind my cut father, holes in my it. My mother did all the cooking in the back. Sure. By the 90s, my mom got sick. She came down with cancer. She passed first. I'm sorry, he's no longer with me. Wow. So that's why it has two the different The wind can be sharp, mom yeah. And dad, Sal and Maria. Right. Combined restaurants, what is the number one problem here? We're not busy. We're not busy. Uh, there's more competition right? in the neighborhood. The and, pesky uh, wind. We're struggling. We're struggling to keep the doors open. It's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Wind criminal. I'd like to meet and find out what's going on here. Neutral, it's thank you so much for the T1. Thank you. Right can now. we get some hype and chat for neutral? Thank you. Thank you. I'm not feeling who I am. I feel weak. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? And this is? Lori. Lori, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. What'd you do? I'm a waitress. Excellent. What's wrong with the rest of um, Lack of leadership. Uh, John's a little. Frantic, chaotic, um, usually very busy in the pizzeria. John is. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't like the running of the business part. He likes just the like working in the business, which is tough because there's a lot of things that need to happen behind the scenes to run a business. Hi, neutral. Been welcome in. Forever. How you doing? So welcome you would chat. think John would know how to run this place, but he doesn't want to change anything because this is what his parents knew. Before Let's they go, Dwight. Away. Homemade pastas, pasta made daily on the premises. All the pasta's made fresh on a daily oh, basis. Oh no, I'm already feeling that this pasta is not going to be made fresh. Yep. Okay, um, start off with the tortellini patata. Okay. i got to try the spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs. Margarita, please. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Vangalea Reganata, second course. You got the tortellini patata. Donnie, Look. thank you so much for the gift of Demoji. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you, Donnie. Thank Ooh, you so much. Here, 64 subs gifted to the my channel. Food. I'm serving it the same way we always do. Oh, boy. I think the chef Ramsay's going to have a heart attack when he sees what goes on around here. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Ralphie. How are you? Good. I'm Fran. Nice to meet you. Fran, nice to see you, Donnie. What'd you do? I oh, just showed the desserts. Oh, okay. Let's, let's have a look. Show Hi. me. Wow. So they showcase the desserts. Mm. So this is our desserts. Everything's made here, fresh on premise. Right. So, jeez, what is that? It's butter. It's, oh, it's butter. butter. Yeah, just to display. Mm. Thanks for the hype screen. train, guys. Thank you. And that, uh, that oh. mold on there. Can you show that? No, the butter's on top, so it covers that. And that bit there? Yeah. And Fabio, you're the general manager, right? So you've got no idea of this. We're presenting those moldy bits of shit. Ew. And it's stuck with butter on top. Now those oh. are just for display. Hold on, hold on. For... Because they're for display, you've got the right to cake them in mold and serve customers a display that's full of mold. So are we supposed to like put a fresh one every day so we can throw it out? Are you kidding me? What do you think? I think that, you know, as long as it's, I mean, it's fresh, it's good. I mean, are but you... I wouldn't, but I wouldn't. Are you, I mean, have are you lost you... the plot? No, I haven't. No. It's changed oh, colors no. four times, and it absolutely reeks. All I'm saying is that this is for display. We're not serving it. So do the customers deserve a display that's full of shit? Oh, my God. He's ripping into him. He's ripping into him, man. Look at this mess. Oh, my God. 
that, it must be two months old. It's probably a few days old. A few days. That is not a few days old. That is not a few days old. That is so, that's such a lie. That is such a lie. A few days, like it's that moldy. <gasps> Kim, thank you so much for five gifted sub. That's so generous. Thank you so much. If you got gifted by Kim, please do thank them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we don't serve it. It's for presentation. I'm aware you're not serving it. Thank fuck Gold Star. Congratulations on that one. Gold that's, Star. That's a big breakthrough with you. That's Gold why star. you're here. Excuse me? That's, that's why, why you're here. I'm here to tell you that that's shit and you no. shouldn't be presenting it. No, you I'm don't know the difference between mold and fresh? It's for presentation only. Give me two seconds. I need to clean my hands. I'm caked in mold. I've got disgusting butter and I've got fucking hands full of pus. Oh hands full of pus. Oh, Christ almighty. You got to tell what cold thing. No. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna come throw it at us. I'd rather He's gonna come throw it, throw it, it at us. It the patata? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. It's bland. I mean, really bland. And visually, it looks like someone just eating that whole dessert tray. And it shot out twice Ew. as quick as it went in. Ew. Like, it's just bland. It's really bland. I'll let them know. And this is frozen because there's know. a gravy potato flavor inside that... I don't think anything's frozen here. Yeah, so the tortellini's aren't frozen. I'll double check. Thank you, though. Uh-oh. He said it was very, very bland. He asked if the, um, the tortellini were frozen. I wasn't sure if they were frozen or not. He's right. Well, off pasta is fresh frozen. No, That's no, the most mind-boggling no, thing no, in this place. No. We make everything and then freeze it. Chef, the Twitter leavings are frozen. Oh, they are frozen? They are. So you oh my advertise God. you're making it daily. But Their you... whole thing is that they're serving it like fresh, like it's... Dark Swan, are you kidding me? Thank you so much for 25 gifted subs. Thank you so much. That's insane. Thank you. Uh, if you got gifted by Dark Swan, please do thank them. Everybody's favorite chess piece. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dark Swan. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they do care, but they are just following orders. I agree with Ring. Thank you. Oh, sevens for Dark Swan, for real. I love Pika Chessies. Let's go, Freezing Care Bear. Day. Hi. Something's wrong, <laughs> Dark Swan. Thank you, though. Wow. Is that the yeah, let's go, person? level seven. I, thank I, I you. I didn't even know this shit. Me either. I thought everything was like fresh. It makes no sense. What, to make it fresh and then freeze it? Then freeze oh, thank it. you, it makes Casper. no sense. Yeah, make it fresh and then freeze it is crazy. Does anyone clean here? Thanks for the pasta check, Casper. Fabio, how often is this place cleaned? I have no idea. You've Kev, thank you for five more gifted. 108. Peace, thank you for 30 gifted. What? <laughs> thank you so much, Peace. What the heck? Thank you. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Evil. <laughs> Hi, Miomo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Peace. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, guys. Level 10. Woo! <laughs> Dark Swan. You got no idea if you got gifted by Peace, do you think? Thank them. Kev, thank you for five. Please thank Kev if you I'm got sure gifted. Thank you. What's that smell in here? <laughs> Peace. Ah, shit. Fuck. Yeah, level 10, Demon. That's the smell. Oh, my God. Yeah, right, Lyrium? What? It's in crazy. The fuck? Fab. That's crazy. That's Did you see all those juices come out of that plant? Oh my god. Don't worry about that thing. The payback is Hi Happy, welcome to the chat. I thought that was a little bit of karma. Did I get you? Yeah. yeah. Where in the fuck did all that come from? You all flooded it. Thank you, my honor. Who watered the plants this morning? Chan. Thank you everybody for the level 10 hype train. I'm super, super excited. <gasps> Donnie! Dark Swan! Oh my god. <laughs> Donnie, thank you so much for five gifted subs. Dark Swan, thank you for 50 gifted 75 on the day. Thank you so much. Yeah, they thought that was karma withering. They thought that was karma that they spilled water. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anybody who got gifted by Donnie, by Dark Swan, please do thank them. Mariah, thank you for five gifted. What the heck? What? 
bacon. Are you kidding me? 11,000 bits? 11,000 bits? Is that even a real number? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, Dark Swan? <laughs> bacon, thank you so much. What the heck? What the heck? I'm so stunned. <laughs> thank you for 30 bitties. Level 13 high chain. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> the cry stream name is shared. I'm trying not to. <laughs> you guys know me. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I can't cry every stream. <laughs> Dark Swan, you absolutely snapped. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And bacon, are you kidding me? 11,000 bits? What? Peace, 30 gifted. What? Kev with the gifted. Donnie with the gifted. Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. What's one fact about you? Um, That my everybody in chat calls me Latina mommy. <laughs> what about you, water, hippie? Somebody watered the plants. <laughs> Someone's doing a great job at watering plants, but not changing desserts. Man. Wow. Everybody yeah, in chat. Everybody dry cleaning, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bacon, oh, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't embarrass us like that. Thank you for 100 minis, Kev. I'm kidding, Mika. I tried speaking Spanish. And Thank you, Bacon. What the heck? Zach, thank you so much for the five sub. Oh my god, Bacon. I'm just like, I'm so stunned. I'm so grateful, but I'm also so stunned. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh my gosh. I literally, like, I'm just stunned. Wow. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Hippie, that's the funniest combo of emos. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I cannot believe this. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's okay, PCOS. Enjoy your food. Level 14 hype train. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Okay, Thank you, Bacon. Wow. I would say oh my enjoy, God. but I know. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Perfect. Do you get any meatballs? Do you get any meatballs? Um, yeah, fresh right. meatballs or frozen? Uh -oh. Frozen. Oh, come on. Fresh. <laughs> Do you think I should go back, Lyrium, just a tad, baby? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Dark Swan. A hundred gifted on the day. A hundred. A hundred. Oh, my God. C'est vrai, impressionnant. I'm not in a mommy. Oh my god, thank you so much. I cannot believe this. We're at a level 15 high train. I swear this has to be our record. Wow, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Where in the fuck did all that come from? Okay, go to jail. Go to jail, Dark Swan. Who watered the plants this morning? It is crazy, Kev. They're full of water. Hi, Willy Billy. Someone's doing a great job of watering plants, but not changing desserts. Not changing desserts. Wow. Thank yeah, you, okay, everybody. Cleaning, right? Okay. Thank you, okay. Conroe. The spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, the spaghetti and meatballs now. I would say enjoy, but I know better. Thank you, Megatron. Thank you, guys. Spaghetti and meatballs? Spaghetti and meatballs. Um, fresh meatballs or frozen? Frozen. Oh, come on.
neutral neutral guys neutral just joined us and five gifted subs thank you so much peace thank you so much for 70 70 bacon <laughs> so much what are you guys doing <laughs> what are you guys doing <laughs> don't make me cry i've been so freaking good <laughs> what is happening my heart is beating so fast i'm getting sweaty <laughs> thank you so much bacon oh my god neutral thank you so much p70 what <laughs> what <laughs> oh my gosh thank you so much level 17 this certainly has to be a record right oh my god stop trying to make me cry you guys are so such bullies see that thank you so dark swan next thanks for the follow oh my god what the heck <laughs> no no, this is like no, out of bestie, nowhere, no. the most random. <laughs> Dark Swan broke out. It's because Peace matched Dark Swan, so Dark Swan said no. <laughs> By Serenity. <laughs> I need a stronger <laughs> Chef hat, I don't have the chef hat because I moved my room around. <laughs> oh my god, I need to go get a hat. <laughs> I don't have one. My nose is running now. What the heck, you guys? I'm like, I'm getting. No, no, <laughs> no, bestie. I was gonna no. say moist, but that's not a good word to say. <laughs> but like, I'm like. <laughs> thank you so much, Kev. Remy, thank you so much. Are you kidding me? Hi, ex. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though, buddy? <laughs> I'll cut it out, Casper. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> oh my god, my nose is running from emotion. <laughs> Can someone eat the key to the cell? What the heck? Are we at 900? <laughs> what the heck? I swear we started this stream at 5. Clearly, peace. Oh my god. <coughs> Hi, Nesty. Hi, Angel. Run after it. I'm so stunned right now. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, you guys. This is so shocking. I can't even believe this. Oh my god. Sicky, thank you so much for the gifted sub, everybody. Sicky, Remy, Kev. <coughs> I can't speak. <laughs> bacon. Oh my god. <laughs> bacon, neutral. Peace, Dirk Swan, Zach, Kev. Oh my god, Bacon for the craziest amount of bits ever. Oh my god, Mariah, Donnie. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Kim, neutral. Megatron, everybody, thank you. Bionic, are you kidding me? Thank you so much for five gifted art. We're at level 18. Is this real life? Buddy, what the heck? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Donnie, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm like so sweaty right now. <laughs> oh my god. Right, Megatron? <laughs> she wanted to dance. Yeah, I'm gonna go do more push ups. <laughs> push ups for the gifted <laughs> And do an Irish jig. I don't know how to do it. I think I'm gonna offend the Irish. Okay, here. There's an Irish jig. 
spin or more bush <laughs> thank you everybody i can't believe we hit level 18 i can't believe this thank you so much no bco <laughs> they're in the streets doing that <laughs> push up okay okay i'll do i'll do a push up for all the gifted subs okay 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 god there's too much going on level 18 hype train 327 sub gifts 23,170 bits <sighs> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh armless guy thank you so much for the follow i mean i don't know if the words will convey exactly how i feel but that was shocking. <laughs> I'm very grateful. So thank you everybody for your generosity. I'm gonna go through and try to thank everybody one more time. Okay, Donnie, thank you. Buddy, thank you. Bionic, thank you. Ziggy, thank you. Remy, thank you. Kev, thank you. Dark Swan, thank you. Sina, thank you. Bacon, thank you so much. Neutral, thank you. Peace, thank you. Zach, thank you. Kev, thank you again. Bacon, thank you again. Mariah, thank you. Dark Swan again. Donnie, thank you. Anybody else? Kim, thank you. Neutral, thank you. Megatron, thank you. Thank you guys so much. That was very, very generous, and I'm very grateful. So thank you so much. <laughs> the pu the push-ups conveyed it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to it now. <laughs> thank you, Bionic. Exapa. <laughs> oh my god, thanks for the hydrate. I need it, Mika. <laughs> I was choking. Like, I got emotional i'm sweaty and my nose is running and i started coughing dark swan you're very generous thank you but you you have to go back to jail now you too peace <laughs> and the push up stuff <laughs> thank you guys thank you everything is frozen <laughs> well <laughs> wait let look me look at that, that now inside how rubbery it looks even before tasting it let me spin that man that how dry that is dry <laughs> disgusting frozen meatball oh wait that actually looks so bad that looks like bread uh, uh, <laughs> thank you mega meatballs truck. are frozen rubbery and dry he's right okay mm. i'd probably still eat it probably i mean it's a meatball with sauce <laughs> twice it's frozen I when i first started here we cut up a leg of veal and i'm still waiting to use it oh and here's your pizza did you guys hear that? When I first started here, I cut up a leg of veal and I'm still waiting to use it. <laughs> what? What? For a margarita pizza, it's very greasy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it in, guys. We can escape. No, never. I've increased with yeah, the guards. The oil slicks in here. Doesn't like right, pizza, buddy? <laughs> it's greasy. That's just full of grease. Laurie. That is wet. Is but... What concerns me, John's behind the bar, all this shit food's coming out, and I want him to taste what he's sending me, because I'm a little bit Thank you, miffed to why I'm here, if no one's caring. Okay. Please? Sure. Wow. 
He said the pizza is greasy and that you should be tasting everything that before it gets sent out to him. Bullshit. How do you taste? How do you taste a pizza before it get, goes out? Genuine question. Actually, because like if I came, if a pizza came to my table and there was a bite out of it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad about it. How is he supposed to taste it? Oh my god. <laughs> No, Tom, he can't have a bite of my pizza. Finger, Casper, ew, Casper. No, don't say that. Yeah, right, Dark Swan. I've had enough. Can you unbite it? Ew, Remy. <laughs> Phantom Tax is crazy. <gasps> After being disappointed by I too, when I'm upset, I just take a bunch of pizza boxes and go <laughs> What is that? Enough. <laughs> That's my After being well. disappointed Hi, by bland frozen food and Hi. greasy pizza at Brooklyn's Mar Yeah, thank you for the gifted sub to Wolf. Thank you. Let's go, Wolfie. No more ads. <laughs> you lick the pizza. No licking pizzas. I hope none of you guys work at pizzerias. Chef Ramsay <laughs> right, well? the kitchen looking for an explanation. Right, I don't want to talk to this guy when he comes in here. Come on, everybody outside. <laughs> and, uh, introduce me to who's who. This is Joel. Joel. This is <laughs> I think Oscar. he's had enough. How are you? Hi, how are you? Thank you, Kev. Hello, sir. Valentino, how are you? Good to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Um, I don't know where to start. I've just had one of the most disgusting lunches I've ever had. Oh. I stopped a dessert tray full of moldy desserts <laughs> and the tortellini, grainy, bland. Tray and blue ball? was just dreadful. The meatballs, frozen. Dry, solid? Yes, they're disgusting. I don't eat them. But you can't Damn. make meatballs every day. You get 20 pounds of chopped meat, you make the meatballs, what? and you freeze the rest. You would put your fingers in the pizza to taste it before it went out? Does that happen to my pizzas? Do pe people put their fingers in my pizza? Is that like a trade secret? Hi, Blizz! Do you know how long it Welcome. takes to make five pounds of meatballs? 10 minutes. It's what we've done all our lifetime. I haven't just started this yesterday. Me too, Dark Swan. Always done. We've... You get away with it, 19... <laughs> oh, you're joking. I believed you. I believed you. Hi, Remy. Thank you, Remy. 67. It's Toronto. Now... thank you for 300 bitties. 12, Hi. John. Does anyone have standards here? We're not in control of the menu. Whose menu is it? It's my menu. I'm embarrassed to do some of the things that we do here. Are you kidding me? We make pasta fresh and we freeze it. Like, are you crazy? But why are you doing it? I don't have a choice. Who's stopping you? The menu. My menu. Why do you listen to this man? He's spoken more sense in the last five minutes than anybody has since I've been here. Do you listen to your staff? They're not paying my bills. I'm the guy paying the bills. <laughs> oh, because you make the... They're not paying my bills, so they're not allowed an opinion. They don't know. They just work here every day. Every single day, all week, they would have no insights into the business. Pizza. Hi, so Pig. they can't have a voice. You should be nowhere near this business. I don't agree with you. Oh. I think we should close the doors. I don't think this man actually gives a shit. I didn't, I didn't can, call you can, because can I, I want to put the key to the door. I, if I need you to tell me to put the key to the door, <laughs> sure. I would have done that without you okay. coming here. It worked before. Why can't it work now? Right? Where well, does you're that come running from, on nostalgia. It stood still. <laughs> and yet, outside these four walls, the whole neighborhood has overtaken you. You're in love with the memories, John. I don't know what to say. Damn. Thank you for your honesty. What the Need heck, Tom? I fucking stink of plant juice. I'm not gonna close the doors just because he said, he said so. I don't agree with him. Right, Bionic? 100% game on, all right? Within a short time of no his arrival, PCOS. Jeff Ramsey has discovered that the staff may actually know more than the owner. What are we supposed to do? Because we didn't fucking make these recipes. And now he's eager to see how the team functions oh. in a dinner service. Right, Patronus? <gasps> he's oh spilling beer God. everywhere. <laughs> he's literally spilling beer Hello, everywhere. how are we doing? Welcome to Marley's. Thanks. Right before Send dinner service. Papa Del tomato sauce. Boxes, <laughs> What's going on down here? Hello. Yeah, Business, that's something I don't understand. These people, I feel like they all suffer from like special snowflake syndrome in the sense that they're like, oh yeah, Gordon Ramsay goes and like attacks all of these restaurants, but like I'm gonna be the special one that he likes. They all think that, I feel like.
<laughs> buddy. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Running as normal, John. Yes, this is. Yeah. Dana syndrome, no. Exactly, exactly the same. No difference. Right, Conroe? You're gonna leave. Give me that portobello or clam. I need that first. So that's what John would normally do. True, just Casper. all night on the pizzas out there. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't come in here. He just stays out there all night. He's afraid. I think he's afraid of the kitchen. He's afraid of the I kitchen. I think so, sir. He owns the place. I know. It's crazy. Ray Patronus? As John <coughs> seems content to pound away at the pizza oven. Margarita sauce, margarita. The kitchen yeah, led like, by Joe. Why does he this is the silliest place for him to be. He's just gonna sit in the freaking <laughs> making pizzas all night. It doesn't make any sense. He's pushing out food at a steady pace. This whole place's interior makes my mouth feel sandy. I cannot explain why. Why is that so accurate? Do you guys agree? Megatron is so right. The place is like the feeling of sand in your mouth. Pick it up. That's actually so strangely accurate. That doesn't mean the fast arriving food is pleasing the customers. How is that? The shells are like frozen. It looked like it's freezer burned. All I got was rosemary. All I taste is rosemary. I don't taste any of the sauce. I found a bone in my sauce. I found a bone in my sauce? A bone. I'm a vegetarian. Losing the the sauce. Joe, two seconds. I'm a vegetarian and there's a bone in my sauce. <laughs> no, no. It's a turnip bone. You're right. That's probably what it is. It's a bone. Is it a rigatini? It's a vegetarian. And the tomato sauce, they put pork bones in it. What the fuck? She's vegetarian. That's how we do it every day. Sorry. John is responsible for the methods that we use to produce the food. Get me John, urgently. He says, if you don't like it, leave. John, this, this is urgent now. A lady had just found a pork bone in the rigatini. We use it to give the sauce over. We always, just always add it. Why didn't they tell the vegetarian person that there's pork bones in the tomato sauce? Sausage So sauce. you're serving pork bones in the sauce to a vegetarian. Oh, that just seems so unnecessary. That's how we prepare food for the last 40 years, and I don't see that being a problem. Yeah, a that's terrible. Vegetarian? The biggest thing is, like, not disclosing that. Like, if it's a tomato sauce, I genuinely wouldn't assume that there's pork bones in it. So it should be disclosed. <laughs> like, imagine if they were actually allergic. Oh, my God. Hi, Chris. Five months. Thank you so much. Right, the way we've always done our business. But you can't serve a vegetarian a pork sauce. Oh, yeah. What the right, fuck Remy? is going on here? I don't know what, what. It should be disclosed in the ingredient list. I've fucking enough. I had enough. I have I never heard of that, Mika. I'll be real. But I also have never worked in a restaurant. So maybe it is normal. I'm not sure. Not enough. You put bones in your salad? Real. You real. you a coffee? Will that make it better? Are you waiting for the uh, bathroom, honey? No, um, my friend got sick. Is he vegetarian? No. No. What did he have? The lobster tail. Okay. And the lobster, he said, tasted um, funny. And the next thing I knew, he was sick. Wait, can you get sick that quickly from, like, food poisoning? Is it that fast? I've actually, I don't know, like, the ETA on sickness. Yeah, it can be that fast. Ooh. John, you're too sick. Mm -hmm. Ammonia. Sick of the box. Yeah, he had lobster. I had the mushroom, and then. Would you like a medical assistance? Would you like for me to call nine one one? Joe, pass me a lobster tail, please. I need one lobster tail. It's tough, right? Well, you... you guys already know I'm ignorant on seafood, so thanks for letting me know. That's crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. The guy's thrown up. He's in the bathroom and he's sick. Please show me exactly oh what you serve that customer. Yeah? Please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. You all right? Okay. Go. Chef, your lobster's ready. Oh, my God. He looks actually so distraught. Oh, I feel for him. Oh, my God. Do you see him? Like, he's, like, sweating. That's crazy, Sam. Okay. 
John, come here, you. Keep a smell it. Seriously, it's fishy. I can smell the ammonia. Yeah, you smell that? And that's what that man's just eaten. That's so, ammonia. That's what releases when the body starts to decompose. Yeah. It's been pulled apart and then decomposed. That's what makes it bad. Joe, just clarify something for me. We could possibly kill them. Kill someone. And whilst we're discussing this, there's a man vomiting in the toilet now. I can't believe this is happening right now. It feels like shit to know that you got somebody sick. And it's the first time you've got... That's so bad. Oh, my God. That's so bad. I think that's one of the worst things we've ever seen, you guys. Oh, my God. Your head out the dough. But it's John's responsibility no matter what. Because John buys all the product that we use. Yeah, please. Should we call an ambulance? Yeah, that's crazy with Call an ambulance. Hi, this is Sal's Pizzeria. I need an ambulance. The customer's not feeling well. Your face is really flushed. Oh, my God. My worst fear is for anybody to get sick in my restaurant. Where's a shot of something? I need a shot. I need a shot of something. I got a guy vomiting. No, no, give, me, give me something. Give me quick. Whiskey? Vodka, lot vodka. If somebody came to your house and you cooked them a dinner, how would you feel if you started puking all over the place? Yeah, I wouldn't feel great. I wouldn't feel great, would I? Right, Mika? The guy had some lobster, and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman sit down. Oh, my God. We just saw an ambulance come out? Yes. Oh, my God. Imagine you're eating at a restaurant. You're like... And there's just people walking by. To, to, and there's somebody being treated by medical staff. I would start crying. I would put my fork down and leave. <laughs> right like i would literally go into the bathroom and like vomit up everything i ate that would be so scary yeah well same actually i'm so like that too you ever had those people on the street like try to film you for like different um like segments or things i always rum i'm like no <laughs> don't talk to me no <laughs> i don't want to be in your tiktoks <laughs> To kill the cameras, kill the cameras. It's dinner service at Mama Maria's. You all right? You okay. No. One of the oh, diners I'm sorry, is feeling Sipata. ill after I'm eating sorry. a question of the lobster. Smart. Smart. Fishy. And that's what that man is just. For five gifted subs, my queen, my angel, thank you so much. We had some hype in chat for West T. <laughs> thank you so much. Let's go, Blizz. And the paramedics have just Please thank Nessie if you scene. got gifted. A guy had some lobster <laughs> and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman's sitting down. It's terrible for anybody to get sick on anything that you serve. West T. You, you, I want to stop everything. Just close the fucking place down now. Okay, so whatever's been served has been served. I do not Shut want to serve. I do not want to serve anything else. Joe, Shut it down. Come, come. Talk to fucking vegetarians. Now this. I've had it. Just stop. Everybody stop, okay? Nothing else leaves this kitchen unless it's going in a garbage bag. Okay, so when I shut it down, I just kick just everybody apologize. out. Just apologize. Oh, my God. Squamble. Hi, Squam. Squam, thank you so much for 12 months. One year of Squamble, guys. Let's go. Yeah, it's not a reaction to lobster. It's rancid lobster. Yeah, it's like literally bad food. Check. Deeply sorry, and we have a, an issue that I have to deal with. My apologies. Okay. Oh, really? You like it, Zampata? You think I do well on it? No checks. Just go. I actually would love to do it. Okay. So sorry, but we're going to close the restaurant down, too. So should we not eat this? Yes, don't eat it. Just no, don't, don't eat it. Just, eat it. We're shutting okay. down. We are shutting down. I'm sorry. Am I going to get sick from the appetizer? Is no, that, no, is it that no. Kind of just they're not gonna serve anything else. It's embarrassing to have paramedics walk into your restaurant and to no, have to you shut don't down your restaurant because of that. This is so awkward. Oh my Should god. Should we this take is his so contact awkward. information or any kind of information like that? John, can I have a word? Yeah. Outside. <laughs> Megaton. <clears throat> You're awesome, Zimpada. Thank you. John, tonight Thank was you. beyond a disaster. I've, I never expected this. I'll think about it. Never my wildest dreams. Yeah, the I'm sorry so, was, uh, was so painful. Yeah, I feel like they would be shut down for this. humiliation. But it's not just bad food, John. It's bad practices. I mean, you're so detached from your business. Yeah, he is. You don't look like the an owner. The only thing he knows about his business is making pieces. You don't sound like an owner. You're like a member of staff back there. Uh, you, oh, right. really? I didn't know that. I would have assumed he should get 
like the customer's contact information, but he's not allowed. Okay. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. I just because I think I've been beat up too much. There's got to be some fight inside. There's got to be some. Listen, I am a That's fighter. That's true, Revan. I've been a fighter my entire life. I was thrown into this place because they needed to. They needed a, a horse, a donkey to run the place because they couldn't a afford donkey. to hire people. They sacrificed my education and thrown me in here. But you've given up. Come on. Aw, he views himself as a donkey and feels like he's out of his depth. So he's keeping himself in the place that he feels like he can help out and do a good job so that he doesn't confront, like, his sense of inadequacy. That's so sad. That's so sad. That's actually sad. He said he gave up his education to be like the donkey for his parents. I know he is poisoning people. That does color things, doesn't it? Yeah, Conroe. Oh, peace. You're destroying yourself. Listen. Help me change. I will help you, but you yeah. have to. That certainly colors things. He did poison someone. Understand. You cannot be a member of staff pounding dough. That's crazy, Lyrium. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. But I kind of get, like, I, I feel like this conversation has really illuminated why he's doing that. Like, if he started when he was 14, he for, didn't take an education, he was, and he has such a low view of himself, I can see why he limits himself. I do it because <laughs> yeah. I love my family. Aww. And I want to provide for them. The best yeah, way I know how. Know. Do you think they get enjoyment watching you kill yourself in there? John, come on. You have to take a big, long step back and stop running this it place bad, from a Ziggy. fucking pizza oven. No. <clears throat> I, I can't. I'm in no... Emotionally, I can't. Why? I need to take a break. Aww. Yeah, Ray Casper. Get some rest. Okay. Hey, well, sorry, that no, no, no. Listen, you're an owner. Hey, I can see the pain. I feel it. Let me tell you. I've got four kids of my own and I know how hard it is, but I'm here for you. And I want you to win. Understand that. Man to man. I'm telling you, I want you to win. We have got to. This actually seems so genuine. Sometimes the fights and things, I'm like, hmm. He actually seems so devastated. Oh my god. Listen. What the okay. heck? We can do this, right? I don't know. Is it Sal? I want to do it. John! Yeah. Have, have, start. have fun with my okay. kids. Let's do it for them. Okay. See you in the morning. Makes sense, Donnie. Written John, pronounced Sal. <laughs> Chef Ramsay may have pledged his help to John, but <laughs> he honor. needs to get a handle on everything before he can implement. I despise these little holes in the floor that go to like a little basement. They're so creepy Dangerous. to me. So early this morning, he does a little research. These like restaurant basements are so scary. I think I have trauma from the show. Love to you. Time to see. Whenever how much he goes down here, I'm really like. <laughs> God. No, the basement looks yes. way cooler. It's more of like a dark hole. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's where you are. They said they had frozen food, but and darker. I certainly wasn't aware there's this much. Oh my god. This goes on. Blizz. Hey. Guys, just can you guys let Blizz know that he's that they're also in the basement? Blizz. How much pasta is it? Lost. Look at the colours. Under eight frozen walls. badly. No date, no name. Look at it. Yeah, oh, that's the crazy thing. Me. No date and no name on these on these frozen items. How do you know they're fresh or edible? What even? is that? Sausage skin. I mean, honestly, look at this. Buckets of them. What's that? That's just out of two freezers. 
And look, there's more freezers down there. Oh my god. That was god. just a block of water with noodles in it. Why would they do that? Do they just put that in a pot? Why does it why is it a block of water? I don't even understand the strategy. <laughs> I'm a little confused. You are kidding me. Chicken, freezer burnt. Oh man, look at this. This must be five years old, this stuff. It's water you block. Can't cook that. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. This is a joke. Look at that. Oh come on. Meatballs. Oh come this on. This is ridiculous. Frozen <laughs> molded. What's that? Oh god. The labels. Another freezer. Frozen vegetables, frozen pasta. My God. I don't even know what it is. An ice cream container, some are filled with pasta shells. Look at this. Oh stuff. my God, there's so much. You are kidding me. Oh, that's eggplant. How many portions of fruit is here? It it's just keeps going. Oh my God. Horrified by the amount of frozen food. Wow. Chef Ramsay is determined to give John and his staff. Unbelievable. A much-needed wake-up call. How are you today? Good. Shit day yesterday. Yeah. I've just spoken to Charles, the diner from last night. He got checked out this morning at the hospital. Totally fine, OK? Big breath of fresh air there, let me tell you. I was yeah, really no, nervous. No, we okay? all were. We all were. Today, we start fresh. The diner. The way that guy on the right reacted to the news. I'm sorry, that was like... <laughs> Look at him. Nice. He got checked okay. out this morning at the hospital. Totally fine. Okay. Big breath of fresh air there. Let me tell you, I was yeah, yeah. really no, nervous. No, we okay. all were. We all were. <laughs> like that did not seem like he cared at all. He was like, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, big breath of fresh air from me. Okay, two thumbs up from this guy right here. <laughs> Like, he did not care at all. Today we start right, fresh. Italic? Fortunately, we are still <laughs> a little frozen in the past. Come with me. This guy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Let me show you something. Come Funny. in. Wow. What the <laughs> fuck is this? That's our menu. What do you think it is? This is our stuff. John. I've never ever encountered I agree, anything Wolf. like this in my entire cooking career. Ever. Never. If we had to not touch anything else in this kitchen and cook what we've got, you'd be open for the next 12 months. And still That's not crazy. Run out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Come on. Come on. We have 40 stacks. That's like 400 pounds of chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken probably doesn't have that much chicken on hand. No. John. Do you have any idea that this is going on? Right, yes. you. Come on. Come on, Pete. It is. It's, it's amazing when you look at it. But I knew it was going on. <laughs> Spooky. Look at the meatballs. Freaking turn color. Hey, Those don't throw it at me. so foul. Come on, guys. This guy, this guy is such a cornball. Oh, my God. What a cornball. When you look at it. But I knew it was going on. Look at the meatballs. Look at him. Ready? Freaking color hey don't throw it at me <laughs> like can he stop hi lid hey hey don't throw it at me <laughs> don't throw it at me <laughs> like stop <laughs> Shaka. come on guys there's more joe i know there's more downstairs there's more <laughs> well. it pains me you're right. There's no, there's no way around it. This is my, this is my fault. Ash, my angel. 15 months of Ashley, guys. Can we get some hype for our queen? Let's go. Thanks, beautiful. It's a sad truth. It is. It lies with me. This is my fault. Megatron. I let no, this Tom. get out of, out of my grasp. <laughs> Past glory, we used to do 10 cases of chicken in two weeks. I'm still buying like we were busy at that at that level. Right, Donnie? We're not. The restaurant is struggling as it is, but you're losing money twice as Let's fast. Go, please. Try to change something that's no. Let's go, is please. that true? He's trying to change. You're saying no? Yes. There's resistance to change. Yes. So that's another of my big problem. Yes. Like I told I you. I mean, look at this. How long do you think those have been special? When's this from? I. I, I I, listen, 
I'm just awesome. Awesome. Is, how, how long has that been yeah. here? Since my parents died. I don't want to take it down. No, I, I don't post the specials. It's just something, a memory so to the, me. The, but that's the really important issue, and you mustn't take this personally. You're still treating this business as if mom and dad are here. We have to let go. Throw it out. No, don't throw it out. Save it and get a new whiteboard. You don't need a. You don't need to throw it out. It's holding me onto the pants. But throw it out. No, no. I'm asking you to throw that out. Take it home. Take it home. Take no, John, I don't want to get upset, but you've got to understand. you got to let go of the past. Okay? Yep. Right, Will? Guys, get the shit out of here. John, okay. let's go. There's like a little whiteboard with his parents writing on it, Ash. And he's like, throw it out. I'm like, don't throw it out. <laughs> let it go. Okay, I'll sing it for you guys. Don't worry. Let it go. Let it go. The <laughs> okay, we're done with that now. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the words. You, but I can just I see forgot the words. The pressure. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> not that I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this I position. don't know them. <laughs> no more. It's just sad. Just being here every day, working seven days a week. I don't know if I told you. <laughs> don't I wasn't educated. My mom and dad threw me in here. I would come home from I'll school. I'll take you twice. Not to eat lunch, to serve lunch. <laughs> Boy. I was a kid. Eight, You're welcome, one, Devin. Ten. And this has been no, my life Will, I'm since. sorry. It's just sad to sit here every day knowing what we used to do. And CJ. And not be able Tom to do what followed. I used to do anymore. Mika. It's just, you're holding on to the wrong things. And I think deep down inside, you're just running scared. I don't want to be scared of I want to fight my wife. I sent my kids to camp. This they guy's were so, so happy bad. that you were coming. My third child sent to me. You like it, Daddy? Ask? Ramsey's gonna fix everything. We can spend more time together. And then we can spend more time together. I didn't. I thought I did goth. I really thought I did. I haven't. I really thought I had. Hey, you will. But you have got to let go of the past. It's your turn now. I am here. I know to he's help so you. sad. Do you but it's on one condition. You step away from that pizza. Step I want away. To that you I will. Not That's it. That's it. <laughs> Step away from the pizza dough. <laughs> I don't know, Ash. Okay, don't ask me what anything is supposed to be. I'm gonna I jump will. behind there and the safety line. It's gonna be hard. I just want a commitment from you that you're gonna get your head out the dough. <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, yeah, I'm yes. gonna start making that it. That was a bazooka. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Can you hear what's going on out there? That's for a reason. I hope they're listening. It's gonna be extremely hard not to fall back into your old habits, but I'm ready to, to, from today on, change my ways and move forward and not let that ever happen again. I feel really sad for him, largely because he's been thrust in this, apparently, according to chat, since he was 14, and he knows nothing else. And he has this deep sense of inadequacy, like he can't do anything other than make pizza. And then he has four kids that he's raising with this deep sense of inadequacy. Like, sad kids make, like, traumatized adults. I'm so sad he- someone should have helped this child when he was little. DJ. Chef Ramsay clearly feels for this owner. And is right, now ready is to sweet. reveal he is the first important change. Hi, Ragnar. How are you? First of all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Where are you? We hear you, but I don't see you. Don't worry about that. We are relaunching Mama Maria's. Excited? Yay. Yay. Good. Yay. Remove your blindfolds. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, that awning's gone. That's Why right. So the awning has gone. Let me welcome you to the new sign. Mama Maria's. When I 
first arrived here, I saw a disgusting awning. Letters cut out, just hideous. This now is your first statement. It says a lot, first impressions, let me tell you. Oh yeah. I like it, it looks modern. I've made some minor. My issue is like. Thing awning, letters cut Here's out. Here's my issue, just guys. Hideous. This now is your first statement. It says a lot, first impressions, let me tell you. Oh yeah. I like it, it looks modern. My issue is, this is still part of the business. And it doesn't match now. This is still part of the business. <laughs> now, it, like, why didn't they do this side? <laughs> Ziggy. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Psh. 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 I've made some minor changes inside. Minor. Trust me, when you walk through those doors, I think you're gonna crap yourself. Let's go in. Yeah, right, Ray XP? Please. Oh, oh, wow. Holy crap. Wow. I came wow. up with that myself. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Totally First of all, welcome to right, the new Mika? bright, vibrant Mama Maria's. And my goodness, does it scream Brooklyn. Oh wow. Totally different. Oh. When I first came in here, it was resembling a restaurant that hadn't been. New bright, vibrant Mama Maria's. And my goodness. Does it scream Brooklyn? Oh, wow. Totally different. When I first came in. Guys, this is, this is like wallpaper brick. This isn't real brick. This isn't real brick. This is wallpaper. This is wallpaper. <laughs> that is definitely wallpaper. There's no way. There's no way. That's so bad. That's not good. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. In here, it was resembling a restaurant that hadn't been touched in years. It was dark. It was grimy. And it had no life. I never realized we that before. Stunning. This whole time I thought it was a real brick. And now that I saw the zoom up, I'm like, oh my god, it's wallpaper. Turquoise walls that gives that nice, vibrant pop. The custom artwork done by a very talented artist painting the beautiful, historic Brooklyn Bridge above your fireplace. I like that. I think this is what Brooklyn wants and needs. We got rid of all the clutter that John just is holding on to. We have on the wall I like your parents that. in full blown I like that. stunning photographs, which I is like an amazing that. memory to hold on to. I like oh, that. Have a look at the uh, Okay, paper. this part doesn't look real, but the other part looks real. It's from, uh, no. <laughs> you didn't see that. No, I love, <laughs> That's I love this. Do you guys remember we watched an episode, I think, yesterday, and they had that, like, mural on the wall of, like, the brother that had passed? This is how they should have done it. Like, black and white. Like, this feels very polished. This feels nice. I like this. I really like this. Serving yeah, the Will! Will! Yeah! Pictures. Exactly, Will! Never forget See, it's so much classier. A new beginning in this the feels really pretty. The stunning family run. Mama Maria's, let me tell you. Like, this I is really my like that. This is me. It was here from my eyes. I didn't see it. It's amazing. It's changing <laughs> from old to new. What I let go of the past, the past is still no. here with us. And I got a new lease on life. Yeah, that was Chef really Ramsey's pretty. Remodel of the I liked that a lot. Restaurant is that only touch. part of his master plan. Come through, please. The overhaul of the menu is the real key to turning this Brooklyn eatery around. First of all, just take a look at the vibrancy. Looks great. Fresh. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want to, that's what I need. Right, menu. Excuse me, Gordon. Vibrancy. Take a look at the vibrance, okay? Starting okay. off with a delicious bruschetta. Gordon. It's done with a really nice chopped up mozzarella, so marinated tomatoes, earthy. <laughs> Rustic and charming. Brilliant and fresh. The muscles Hi, are just incredible. A great little appetizer to get the palate, the juices flowing. The specialities of the house, the pizzas. Margarita, stunning, simple, delicious. You hit it on the head. Next to that, you've got the Ozabuco. <laughs> served <laughs> in its cooking juices over mashed potato, gremolata, actually... and a really nice, rich demi glace. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. That's a great side. <laughs> the food looks good. Boss. John. No, 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 but no, 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 but it's no, 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 no. I'm excited. No, You're no, excited, no, 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 never. Here's the scenario we have some very very influential journalists and bloggers coming in everybody on their game yes sir. one more thing these little sprucing up <laughs> no 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 got no. this for you especially a nice hey! beautiful <laughs> shirts oh After that's 40 cute. years i gotta take my colors off that's right because you're no longer no mushy you're not allowed 
also taken peace saw the food on the table and he was like or they were like i want the braised thing don't even know what it is but i want it <laughs> pizza boy you are the owner if i catch your head inside that pizza oven i'll put it in permanently <laughs> oh no and as i look at you now right over your I shoulder i agree casper i see your father looking down look at him look that's right and you are gonna run this business just like they did when they brought you into this world. You got it. Yeah, catch your tonight. head in there. Big hits no, you're not allowed, yeah. Kimball. Chef Ramsay is determined Bye, to let everyone know Love that you. Mama Maria's is the new cool place to dine in Brooklyn. First off, Eat in Brooklyn, blogging website, dynamic. Blackboard Eats, blog. Great. Awesome. I'm going to impress him. Eat to blog are also joining us. <laughs> You're not allowed to go to bed. Big one. <laughs> Absolutely big one. Getting nervous. You have got a powerhouse full of critics. Look how smart you are. Wow. Never bad. Turn around, give us a spin. Whee! Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to Mama Maria's. This is our brand new menu. Welcome to Mama Maria's, our relaunch, and I'm very proud of what we're doing now. That two tops come here, just recognize them. New York Observer, the guy with the notepad. Oh, okay. He's the man. 2.4 million readers. <laughs> they are, because I've got nervous. Except no, I'm no, just you to you. need to know who they are. Let's go, you can do it. It's tough taking on this new role. You know, it, it's not my makeup. I'll grab them. Okay. Two. You got this, John. Uh, I need to step away from that pizza counter and be more hands-on to make sure everybody's doing their job and doing it correctly. Table four, New York Observer. Yes. Okay. Okay, listen up. First course, minestrone and a Caesar. You got it. I need this risotto cavatelli, please. 30 seconds in the window. Good. While John may be in the unfamiliar role of leading his staff, <laughs> how are we doing over here? The pizza's all done. There's another one coming. Mama Maria is off to a good start. Pick up lasagna, gnocchi, spaghetti, meatballs. And customers are thoroughly enjoying the food. The gnocchi's delicious. I think the sauce is spot on. Delicious. But while Chef Joe continues to push dishes out in a timely manner, muscles in the window bruschetta in the window let's go was a typical... i'm actually getting hungry now Southern i need Italian, to get more beans sauce, yeah. john seems to have forgotten that he is still needed in his new role as leader john yeah i'm really hungry john table four in the window let's oh, wait. go it's to have forgotten did you guys hear that, that? still needed listen to this listen to this role as leader i'm so hungry yeah i'm really hungry I am so hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry now, too. End scene. <laughs> like, like, how much were they paid? How much were they paid to say that? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really hungry now, too. <laughs> no, why she clip that? Table four in the window, let's go! It's a blogger's table, guys. Let's go, wrap it up. It's very frustrating when you <laughs> well, see dishes not leaving the window. There's no time for My this. cell phone. I got time for this. Where's John? Cent. Let's go! Give me John. Let me get him. Are you serious right now? Son of a bitch. There's a guy walking around here with a white jacket uh -oh, and blonde Tom. hair. Oh, for fuck's sake. John. Yes, sir. So you can't just favor two guys at the bar. You've got to be everywhere. Right, right. In and out. We're yeah. in the middle of service. I'm not letting you sink the dining room. No. This place no. is full of some of the most influential, I, 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 influential bloggers. I hear you. Step up. Period. Try, End the story. Try. We have to encourage. Don't stop. You They're yelling, stop. like, right in the middle of the restaurant. We communicate with our team. <laughs> right, the out there. Okay, the stuff is right over here. Shotgun. I'll it out. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Let's not drop our heads. Let's bounce back, okay? Let's okay, bounce back, guys. okay? Oh, I'm so happy. Sorry about the service. I am we're so trying happy. Our best. We're trying to keep up, and we're trying to do whatever we can. This is the first time John was acting like the owner he is tonight. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Keep it up. And that's exactly what Mama Maria needs. This looks awesome. It smells awesome. Yum. This is delicious. Let me know when that margarita is ready, please. I need that margarita. So, guys, how did everything go? The spaghetti and meatballs were delicious. Absolutely spectacular. Thank you. Here's the pizza. We'll definitely be coming here again. Great job. Well done. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night, guys. <laughs> John. Yes. Listen, you are one hard working, honest, Guy, thank John. you. I feel I was living in a shell. I'm coming out of that shell. Kiss. That shell is broken. Kiss. Good and job, John. You. You, hit it, man. you hit it right on the head. 
Here's my mum and dad. Mum and dad are here. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, and so here. they are looking down. And they, right now, are proud. You no, have got proud. the door open. Thank Grab you. it. Just go forward. Don't I go back. No, no, no. I'm not going backwards. I refuse to go backwards. Because one thing I remember of my father was his leadership, and that's what I'm going to continue. I think this guy was actually very, very likable. Like, he was a very sweet guy. Kim! Kim! What the heck? Thank you so much for a thousand biddies. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know you. what I need to do. And there's more to come of Mama Maria's in the future. <gasps> for the last 55 years, this restaurant has belonged to John's parents. And even after they sadly passed away, he remained a pizza maker. But tonight, he was an owner. This restaurant now belongs to John and John only. And I'm truly, and I mean truly rooting for this Brooklyn underdog. How much water can be put in one plant pot? Ah, shit. How much water can be put in one plant God pot? God bless pizzas. Right? God bless Chef. pizzas. God bless the power of women. God bless pizzas. Ramsey left. Welcome to Mama Maria. <laughs> John has kept his promise of running his business I was away to do from it. the pizza counter. I need a bowl of grated cheese, please. <laughs> a bowl of grated cheese. Mama Maria's. I need a bowl of grated cheese, please. A bowl of grated cheese. <laughs> that was so random. Has already Maria. John has kept his promise of running his business away from the pizza counter. I need a bowl of grated cheese, please. A bowl of grated cheese. <laughs> That's gonna be the new subway. We're gonna get subs gifted. It's gonna be I need a bowl of grated cheese, please. <laughs> I need a bowl of grated cheese. <laughs> Mama Maria's has already generated a ton of positive buzz from bloggers and <laughs> I'm websites. I'm sorry, I know you like it Thank really you, I well. hope from Chef Ramsey, we've come a long way. And this 55-year-old restaurant is on its way back to being a fixture in Brooklyn once again. I feel violated. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, opener closed, opener closed. Sal's Pizza. Open or closed. Open or closed. Open or closed. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll. A few months later, business was reported to be up 10% in the restaurant. Some old customer favorites have returned to the menu as requested by customers, but John has kept Gordon's revised menu in place with a few minor tweaks to the dishes. Mama Maria's and Sal's Pizzeria closed in February 2023. They closed as owner John decided to retire. Okay, that's good. Yelp reviews were mostly positive after Gordon's visits. Recent reviews in 2019 appear to suggest that the seafood is frozen. TripAdvisor reviews were mostly positive. Negative reviews relate to non-delivery of takeout orders. It aired in 2012. And it was filmed in June 2012. Wow! So they survived a really long time. He retired uh, over, like, 11, basically 11 years later. 11 years of the restaurant being still open. That's really good. That's really good. 11 years of a restaurant. That's so good. Yeah, he closed on his own terms. He retired. Survived through the pandemic. I agree. That's pretty massive. Yeah, good for him. He was, seemed like a really good dude that was kind of just lost after the loss of his parents, which, I mean, that's such a monumental loss. We can all empathize with that. But, yeah, he started. I didn't have a high estimation of him. I'm going to be honest. And then by the end, his sincerity won me over. Like, a lot of times the tears, I'm like, okay, waterworks. And I'm one to talk, right? I miss waterworks. But sometimes I'm like, mm, like, is that really genuine? But he actually really seemed authentic. He really came across authentic. 